everyone, today in this video, I'm gonna show you how to set up and use the Roborock mobile app for iOS and Android devices to connect and set up your new robot vacuum cleaner. Specifically, the model we'll be using today is the Roborock S8 Pro Ultra. If you're interested in this vacuum or you wanna find out more about it, the link to it will be in the video description. Let's go ahead and get started. Step one is to download the Roborock app. You can search Roborock app on your app store and you'll be able to find the app to open it up. You also may get lucky enough on your device or with the user guide and manual, you may be able to scan a QR code to directly download it. Next step is to log in with your account or sign up to create one. Once signed in, you'll be at this screen where we can scan to connect. So if you select that button, it'll take you to your camera where you can identify a QR code on your device and connect, or you can just search manually right here. We have a list of their wet dry vacs and all of their robo vacs that you can use to set up within the Roborock app. So we're gonna choose the S8 Pro Ultra. Now we need to enter our Wi-Fi information. Please note five gigahertz Wi-Fi is not supported. You must be on a 2.4 gigahertz Wi-Fi network. Next, we're at this screen where we need to add our device. So open the top cover of the robot, press and hold the mop only and dock buttons for three seconds until you hear the resetting Wi-Fi voice alert. The robot will then wait for connection and the Wi-Fi indicator flashes slowly in blue. So we gotta go ahead, we need to reset that now. Resetting Wi-Fi. We just got the resetting Wi-Fi voice prompt there. So we'll check that box, select next. Now we need to connect to our device Wi-Fi. You'll see our vacuum showing up right here under other networks. We're gonna select that. We're back into the connect mobile app now. We have a stand voice prompt. By letting us know it's connecting to Wi-Fi and a standby, and it'll go through that checklist. Wi-Fi connected. Wi-Fi was connected. Now we can select use now. All right, next up, we have a disclaimer here. We're taken into our device settings with notes, tips and tricks, certain features so you can get familiar with the app. And we have a firmware update. Let's update it now, and we can also toggle on auto update. All right, the firmware has been updated. That took around two minutes. Let's go back into the app, and now we're looking at our Roborock S8 Pro Ultra settings. Currently, our battery's at 65% and charging. That's great, because this is right out of the box. Let's go ahead, let's get a map populated. We'll come back in and dive into the app in more detail. All right, so we have a map populated here. Look at how detailed and thorough everything is. It's great to see where the vacuum was driving, the nice logical row by row cleaning pattern here. It identifies different floor surfaces. You'll see the rugs and the carpets versus the hard floor there. You also might notice we have all these little markers and indicators letting us know that we have different obstacles around like footwear, wires, this is cool too, even power strip. How sweet is that? And you have a confidence rating there. Little cones too when it's not sure what the obstacle is. Very accurate though, it's pretty sweet, right? You see all that? There's the base station. Super detailed, thorough, got some more wires. Again, we have some kids toys in the playroom, that sort of thing there. Kitchen table, chairs, chair legs, that's what it's looking at. So the map is very detailed. You'll have a breakout here of different rooms. You can edit and modify this map. We also have a 3D option too. So 2D or 3D, up to you how you wanna see it. Pretty sweet though, very detailed. And then back in that cube icon, if we go back to our 2D map, we have our room name, floor type, furniture, obstacles. We can turn those on or off. We can rotate the map. Then we have our edit option. If we want to set a no-go zone, invisible wall, no-go zone. It's up to you, right? Drag and drop, reposition how you want. There's your virtual and invisible wall. Hit the check mark. You're all set and ready to go there. Then we'll go back into it. You'll see backup, map name, delete, edit room, edit furniture, edit surface. So same thing, if we wanna add some different rooms, we can divide a room. So there's our divider, right? So we could do that. 
rename, merge. If we have multiple rooms together, that's really just one room. You can merge them right there. Here's the edit furniture. So it looks like we can add a lot of stuff here if we wanted. Pretty sweet, right? So you can really build out a cool map. Then we can edit the surface if we have to change a surface, floor type, and trapping threshold. You get the idea. You can do all that right in here. So stone threshold, custom, pretty sweet. And again, everything is accessible right there from that little pencil edit map icon. Next, you'll see we have our full room and zone options here, depending on how you want to clean. And we can do it up to three times per session there. And then you can specify, do you want to just mop? Do you want to vacuum? Do you want to vacuum and mop? Or some sort of custom clean? So pick and choose. Very simple, straightforward. Let's go to the full clean. We'll hit that button again. And then we'll just dive into each setting a little bit more. But we have our suction power settings with the max plus option you can turn on. Then we have a standard route as well as a fast route. Going to be a more efficient route. So that's intended for occasional use. So if you just want like a little bit of a more quicker clean. But they're standard right there. And again, all the suction power settings all the way down to quiet. Mop has three different mop settings. And then we have four different mopping options. So there's the efficiency one, the fast option, standard. Here's your deep clean right here. Just basically tighter Z shape. Covering each area of the floor twice. And then we have deep plus. Even slower in that pattern give you that more thorough and deep clean. So lots of different options there, really just up to you and what you prefer. And then here's our vacuum and mop options. So we have four different suction settings, scrub intensity, three different levels. And then we have that efficiency fast option or standard. So if you break out each individual one, you get more settings between mop and vacuum. But if you want to use them both together, that's what you're going to be able to do in one clean. And then at the very bottom, you see we have our clean so we can enter in and have the vacuum start cleaning as well as return home to the dock. Now let's look in the top right hand corner. We have three dots to choose from. That's going to be all of our device settings. First up, we can manage our maps here. We do have multi-level mapping support. We can change that. Next, you'll see schedules. We can set this up on a cleaning schedule. Go ahead, you can add it here, start, end, which mode do you want, which areas, you get the idea. Reactive obstacle avoidance, we can fine tune some of this. We can add pet details. Then we have carpet settings. Do you want to turn that dynamic lift on or off? Avoid, ignore. Carpet boost, do you want that on or off? And deep carpet cleaning. Toggle that on or off. Floor cleaning settings. So you can clean along a specific floor direction, which is cool. Dock settings. So we can really customize our dock. How often do you want to wash the mop by room or by a time? Washing mode, light balanced or deep clean. How dirty are your floors? That can be what decides that. Auto empty settings here. Light balanced max. Again, how dirty is your home? How often are you running it? Auto drying, toggle that on or off, and you can adjust the duration between two and four hours. I think three hours is great. The mop pad is plenty dry after that. Then we have our robot voice here, different languages and volume options. Robot settings, button lights, child lock, do not disturb. This is really cool for all of you energy conservatives out there and you penny pinchers. Off-peak charging. The robot will only fully charge during off-peak hours. How cool is that? So we can turn that on to prioritize that. And you can set it yourself depending on your utility bills and rates. That's really neat. Or for you solar users out there, that might be beneficial to you. Offline map settings. And we can adjust our unit here. Pin and go feature. We have a remote control, buttons, or joystick for driving, spot clean, and dock commands right there. 
We can view our cleaning history. Let's select our full clean here. You see the map, the washes, all of that. Lifetime totals. Maintenance, this is great to know when it's time to replace parts on your vacuum. User manual, we have our product info, firmware updates, and we have a device sharing section here. So you can add a user by phone number or email address if you wanna share this with somebody in your household. And then we also can delete the device. So it's a very easy to navigate and intuitive app that gives you a ton of great features for your robot vacuum and mop.